Well, here it is. I was working with a plumber friend of mine the other week and I went to strip some cable to wire up the boiler and he had never seen this tool. Now this is made by CK or this one is by Irwin, but I think there's a few others around. And basically they just strip wire. If it's something you've previously done with your teeth, then just have a quick look at this and you can see what happens. Self-adjusting, put our cable in there. This is just standard three core and earth cable. We choose where we want to strip it to and we just squeeze the trigger and that takes off the outer sheath of the cable and it leaves you with your cores all ready to go. Just pull those off. You can see all perfectly stripped. It hasn't cut into the copper conductor and it hasn't cut into the outer sheath to damage those cables those conductors in any way whatsoever. Now that would be a bit long generally for what we want. We can trim it up. These are not the best cutters in the world but they do work as cutters. So you can, if you just want to take one tool up there then you've got yourself some cutters there. But let me just show you, start again, start afresh. Let me just show you something else. So we strip off our outer section like that and if the inner section is a little bit smaller, the conductors, these are 1.5s, but if they were smaller than that, we might want to make a micro adjustment on that little knob there. But what we've got here is a depth stop and we can set that, when I'm doing the downlighters, for example, we want 11 millimeters cable showing so you can get that very precise just by setting that to where you want it and then you just pull like that and you can see that you've got perfectly stripped conductors there ready to go. So let's just show you that with a bit of flex because a lot of people find flex a bit problematic. What you don't want to do is to be cutting into that outer sheath and damaging the cores inside. So. You can see what it does, it just pulls it apart, it's not cutting it, it's pulled it apart so we can just slide that off the end and if you want to take a lot off by the way, take it off in a few bite sized chunks rather than trying to grab a whole section of outer sheath at one time. Now if we put our depth stop in, if we're wiring up a plug or something and we want to do that then we can just put the depth stop in. What I want to show you here is what I do quite a lot, is I don't pull them off straight away, right? They're still on there. So what I do is I twizzle them round like that, just using that as the twizzler, if you like. And then once you've done that, once you've twisted them all round, you can take them off and you've got the perfect little conductor is a little bit long. It's got crimpers, it's got cutters which are, as I say, not great cutters at all and the crimpers aren't amazing but if you buy it for nothing other than doing this then it's well worth the investment. So there you are, automatic wire strippers. You can get them from CK, you can get them from Irwin. Just about the easiest way of stripping cable and flex. I wouldn't be without them. So don't forget to come back and see us soon and have a look at us on Facebook because we've got stuff going on over there, different stuff. I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks for watching. Just thinking back to the time when it was all good golden arrow.